Srinagar in collaboration with World Health Organization. We are delighted to have you here as we acknowledge the importance of accessible and equitable healthcare for all. Universal health coverage is a global initiative led by the World Health Organization aimed at ensuring that all people have access to essential healthcare without facing financial hardship. It emphasizes equity in health, recognizes that everyone, regardless of their economic status, should receive the care they need. It covers the quantum of essential health services, from health promotion to prevention, treatment, rehabilitation and palliative care. World Health Organization's Universal Health Coverage Campaign strives to achieve a world where individuals and communities can attain the highest standard of health With this, we reached our inaugural session for today's event. We are honored to have our chief guest for today's event, Mr. Bupender Kumar, Administrative Secretary, Health and Medical Education Department, Jammu and Kashmir, who will be joining us very shortly. Uh, we would also like to take this opportunity to welcome uh, to stage uh, Dr. Professor Dr. Masood Tanvi, sir, our worthy principal and dean, Government Medical College, Srinagar. Administrative Secretary, Health and Medical Education Department, the Ante Government, Mr. Gopinder Kumar Sir, Principal Dean, Government Medical College, Sir, Nagar, Professor Masood Tanvir Sir, Team Lead, Health Systems, WHO Country Office, Dr. Hilde, and Dr. Yasmin Pangu, Assistant Director, Health Services Kashmir, Dr. Mohan Singh, Director Ayush Jainke, who is joining online with us, Dr. Masarat Jabeen, Assistant Director, Family Welfare, Kashmir. Dr. Mohan Shabhi Koka, State Nodal Officer and National Health Mission, JNK. Respected Heads of the Departments. Visiting faculty from various medical colleges. Chief Medical Officers of Kashmir Division and their representatives. Faculty members of various departments and their students. Assalamu alaikum and very good morning. It's our privilege to be here on occasion of Universal Health Coverage Day, which is being commemorated and celebrated across the globe. We are honored that we have a very distinguished guest on board today, both on stage and off stage, to commemorate the day so that we have equity in distribution of health services across the country and the expenditure which is borne by the people will be taken care by the systems across the board so that we don't have people to go into the catastrophic losses because of health care. So with these words, I welcome you all on the occasion because we have the birthday secretary online and we don't want to make him wait for longer time. So with these words, I welcome you all on this Universal Health Coverage Day. Thank you. Respected Chief Guest, our worthy Secretary of Health and Medical Education, Sri Bhupinder Kumar, respected uh, guest of honor, and also the keynote speaker, Dr. Hilde, team lead health systems, WHO country office, India, distinguished dignitaries on the dais, from left to right, Professor Salim Khan, HOD Community Medicine, Dr. Masarat, Assistant Director, Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Shafi Koka, State Nodal Officer, NHL GNT, and uh, Dr. Yasmin Kongo, Assistant Director, Director of Health Services, Our distinguished uh, 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 guests online, Dr. Mohan Singh, Director Ayush, and uh, Mrs. Babila MD and Distinguished HODs, distinguished faculty and dear students, good morning to all of you. It's a matter of 
great honor and privilege for me to welcome you all here on behalf of Government Medical College Srinagar as well as WHO. On the occasion of Universal Health Coverage Day 2023, which is being observed on 12th of December every year. The theme for this year is Health for All, Time for Action. Respected Dr. Hilde Dick Grief, Team Lead, Health Systems WHO, Country Office India, Professor Masood Dalveer, Principal and Dean, Yanti Shridhar, Dr. Mohan Singh, Director Ayush, Professor S.M. Salim Khan, H.O.D. Department of Community Medicine, GFC Srinagar. <coughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, senior officers, uh, let me at the very outset convey my greetings on this very important day of universal health coverage, which is being celebrated. They are health experts. And they all would appreciate that universal health coverage is a cherished dream. It's a desire. It's a desired state of health systems. Which esteemed dignitaries on the dais, esteemed dignitaries online, respected faculty, invited guests, medical students, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of WHO, it's my absolute pleasure and privilege to join you here in Sri Lanka for celebrating Universal Health Coverage Day. As already been mentioned by previous speakers, Universal Health Coverage Day comes with a call for action. A call for action to do more and to act now to make this dream of health for all a reality. And it comes down to paying and investing in universal health coverage, addressing the weaknesses in health systems across the world, expanding primary health care, working not only within the silos of health, but adopting a more intersectoral approach and reaching out to communities and using technologies and innovations so that also those who do not have access to develop, these new developments can benefit from them. The call for action comes at a time that the United Nations is celebrating 75 years health for all. WHO exists 75 years and during these 75 years together with member states the attention has been to improve health by improving public health and strengthening national health systems. It is also an important year for the United Nations and for the entire world because 75 years ago the Universal Declaration of Human Rights were released. Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and I hope if you haven't done so, that all of you are familiar with these 30 basic rights that were enshrined and are the basis for the international community. It is all about civil and political rights. It's about recognizing that all people are equal, that all people are entitled to dignity, freedom, freedom of speech, decent housing, and many more. Institution of a World Health Organization. You may not see it there at the back, but I just put these two old photographs there because despite all the good work and the decisions that were taken at that time, half of our population was hardly represented, and that were the women. On that one photograph, there is one woman that stands in the middle, but the other women that aren't visible on that photograph are probably support staff, either there at the back, or there are a few of them at the front. 
So that means at that time, where the rights were declared, where commitments were made to make health for all, half of the population didn't have a voice or didn't have a say in the policies that were decided then. One of the first decisions that were taken by the governing body of the World, the World Health Organization was to agree that if we want to work together, we all need to speak the same language. That means there was a need to classify diseases that have been recognized and listed as what we now call ICD. There are various versions of the international classification of diseases, but India is about to launch the introduction of ICD-11, which will make the recording and classifying of diseases a lot more easier than it used to be. And access to data and recording um, or compiling information about why people die, very often this is the responsibility of medical doctors, but we also know that that is where we um, are still facing challenges because clinicians are usually not inclined to spend time on collecting, compiling, and interpreting data. So I'm using this opportunity to the upcoming clinicians of tomorrow. When you are requested to contribute to improving data systems, entering information about your patients, you will be contributing to understand better why people die, and that will give us a lot more information what is an information that is essential to informing policies. Access to antibiotics. This is nice. Many young children. New developments in that area led to the expanded program of humanization where now six deadly childhood diseases could now be prevented by immunization. universal health coverage, expanding primary health care if we want to meet the goals of health for all. And then comes the virus that puts everybody's lives on hold and no one in this room, no one across the globe has been left untouched. And again, it was a virus that showed how vulnerable we are, how vulnerable health systems are, आज 12 दिसंबर है आलम सतह पे यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ कवरेज ये मनाया जाता है और आज का ये प्रोग्राम आलम सेहत इधारे डब्ल्यूएचओ के कंट्री ऑफिस के साथ मुनाकित किया गया इस प्रोग्राम का मकसद था कि जो आज हमारी दुनिया में जो इतने भी लोग हैं क्या उन तक सेहत की रसाई पूरी है या हमें कुछ ऐसा कुछ करना चाहिए कि हर एक शख्स वो दुनिया में कहीं भी हो किसी भी इकतसादी हालत में हो किसी भी बीमारी में मुब्तला हो उस तक सेहत की रसाई पूरी होनी चाहिए और उसका जब खर्चे है उस पर वो या तो गवर्नमेंट बर्दाश्त करे या जो इंश्योरेंस एजेंसीज बर्दाश्त करे ताकि जो शख्स बीमार हो उसके जेब पे उसकी इकतसादी हालत पे इसका कोई असर ना हो क्योंकि ये देखा गया कि मुल्क में और बैरून मुल्क में बहुत सारे ममालिक में ये सूरत हाल होती है कि जब भी कोई शख्स बीमार पड़ता है तो उसको बीमार होने की वजह से जो इकतसादी बहरान उस पर आ जाता है उसको अपनी पैसे नहीं होते हैं जायदाद खरीदने पड़ते पढ़ना पड़ता है उसके अलावा कर्ज लेना पड़ता है सो ऐसी सूरत हाल न हो ताकि जो भी शख्स कहीं पे हो उसको वो सब चीज़ें मुहैया हों जिस तरह आज मुल्क की बात करें यहाँ पर आयुष्मान भारत की वजह से जो बी है उनको दिया जाए जिसके बरक्स जो जम्मू कश्मीर में आयुष्मान चल रहा है वहाँ पर सेहत स्कीम है सोशल एंडेवर फॉर हेल्थ एंड टेली मेडिसिन जिसके तहत हर कोई शख्स जो रियासत जम्मू कश्मीर का बाशिंदा हो उसको पाँच लाख तक सालाना खर्च उसमें मिलता है जिसके लिहाज से अब जो पूरे जम्मू कश्मीर में जो लोगों को जो सेहत पर जो खर्चा हो रहा था उसमें ज़ीरो एक्सपेंडिचर उनको हो रहा है सो so, उसी तनासर में कि ये यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ कवरेज का जो प्रोग्राम है आज यहाँ मुनद किया गया ताकि जो हमारे यहाँ जो हमारे स्टेक होल्डर्स हैं उन तक बात पहुँचाई जाए कि हमारा काम ये होना चाहिए कि जब भी प्लान हो या प्रोग्राम इम्प्लीमेंटेशन हो तब ये कोशिश होनी चाहिए कि ये हम हर एक शख्स 
चाहे वो किसी भी कोने में हो उस तक सेहत के सेहत जो सर्विसेज है वो बहम पहुंचनी चाहिए ठीक है so it's really commendable that the state is taking action um on universal health coverage and that means um action to expand services healthcare services and try to reach those who have at this very moment in time limited access to healthcare and i can see that a lot of progress has been made a lot of investments have been made the state now has around 3000 health and wellness centers so this is really um, bringing primary health care as close as possible to communities yeah well the secretary um, outlined to the audience the initiatives that they have taken uh, telemanas and chat bot the new program that started earlier this year targeting young people i think it is a very commendable initiative young people and mental health challenges we know it is a, a reality not only in in um, in kashmir but all over the world so it is important to invest in mental health care services thank you